Hi, Donna Lewis here, and it is Transform Tuesday. Today we're going to go into the word, it's time to fly. We're going to discover how we've been changed and transformed by the power of God's word and his new creation dwelling deep in our life. I am so excited to share this word for you. I, I believe this is probably one of my favorite words from the book Toxic to Transformed. And let's just dive in now. I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. And blow this up. And here we go. Yes, it is Transform Tuesday and it's time to fly. This is the key scripture we are going to be internalizing. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord who is spirit makes us like him as we are changed into his glorious image. What Paul is talking about here is fairly deep, and I cannot dive into all that it means today, but the veil he is speaking of is that going back to Moses, when Moses first went up to the mount uh, to the mount mountain where he received the law of God on the stone tablets. The glory of the Lord was so powerful and so thick and so extreme that it literally transformed Moses's face. He glowed um, and he wore a veil because the glow was so extreme, so powerful uh, that it was difficult for people to see him. So he put a veil on his face. Well, Paul was likening that veil to the veil that covers our eyes before we come into Christ. It, it's difficult for us to understand the word of God and even understand who God is until we meet Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life. He is our key to understanding the nature of God and his word. Once we come into Christ, that veil is removed and we can see clearly. And in this scripture, we not only begin to see clearly, but we begin to understand that we are changed. We are transformed. We are coming into the very image of Jesus Christ. So before we go any further, let's just get a little entertaining here. What is your favorite binge watch series? What what ser television series is your go to? Are you are you are you watching it right now? Binge watching? I just finished one. I just finished a couple actually that I really enjoyed. Leverage, and um, then another one that's just started. So I only got to watch like ten episodes, but um, it's uh, almost paradise. That was really fun. I enjoyed that one. I'm looking forward to more of those coming out. And then I, I keep hearing about one that I've got to start. I've got it ready. I just haven't dove into it yet. And that is um, a series on Jesus Christ. Um, it's called, oh, forgive me. Let me see here. The Chosen, The Chosen. I have heard that this one is incredible and there's two seasons out now. So I've got, I've got to start watching this one. Um, so that, that is on my watch list and I am going to start watching that one. I've actually got the app on my phone right now too. So 
If you haven't checked that one out yet, check out The Chosen. So yeah, put that in the comments. What's your favorite binge watch and why? Okay, so here we are. Being transformed by the renewing of your mind. That is what Transform Tuesdays are all about. And this is a piece of artwork my husband did. I absolutely love it. It's uh, in our living room right now. And it's all about transformation. That's actually the name of this painting, Transformation, Transformed. So here we go. It's time to fly. Metamorphosis. The caterpillar sheds her skin, forming a hard protective shell around her body. While sleeping inside, she dissolves into a wondrous concoction of goo. Within this goo is a miracle, total transformation. She emerges as a new creature with a whole new purpose. With beautiful wings, she looks and behaves nothing like a caterpillar. Instead of crawling from branch to branch, she glides on the wind. As she drinks nectar, her body pollinates the flowers, distributing life. Like caterpillar to butterfly, we are being transformed and soon it will be time to fly. Let's just go back to that painting again. All of these little creatures, the toads, the toad, the frog, the butterfly, they all transform. They all start as one thing, but become another. Toads and frogs start as these little tadpoles, these little fish that are bound to the water and can never leave the water and are very vulnerable. But then they transform into amphibians, frogs that can go in both water and on the land and make noises and sing and croak. The butterfly starts as a caterpillar, something very destructive that chews up leaves and can crawl and it can only crawl and is very vulnerable to being eaten by predators. But then she becomes this beautiful, beautiful winged creature that distributes life. It's just like you and I, before we meet Christ, we're fearful, we're destructive, but once we come into Christ, we are a totally new creature. We are transformed and we go from powerless to powerful. We are being transformed into the same image as Jesus. Jesus who walked on water, who healed the sick, who gave sight to the blind, who raised the dead and fed multitudes, thousands of people. What does this mean to you? How does this affect the way you see yourself and your purpose? This is what I want you to think about. You are now, as a new creation in Christ, a completely different person. You're a completely different being. 
you've gone from dead to alive. You have gone from a powerless, hell-bent creature that could only destroy to a powerful new being, a supernatural being. And the same authority that Jesus Christ has, we now have been given through him. We are literally seated in the heavenlies with him right now. <laughs> it's a lot to think about, a lot to process. So take your time with it. Grab your journal. Let me just show you one. Grab your journal your transformed journal and begin to describe what this means to you, this new life. It is time for you to break out of your cocoon, out of that cage and not just walk in newness of life, but soar. There is divine purpose inside of you created for such a time as this. God bless and see me next week on Transform Tuesday. Leave your comments, share this video, like this video, comment on this video. I can't wait to hear from you and always remember your comments, your questions are not just valuable to me, but they're valuable to everyone who reads them. So please put your comments on this video. Please share this video for others to receive the same power of God's transforming word. And let me know how it's impacting your life. God bless. Love you much. Have a great week.